The near silence speaks volumes when you pull off State Road 62 in eastern Manatee County. Explain to me what we're looking at here. We're looking at a site that has been mined about eight to nine years ago and it's been reclaimed following. Mosaic Reclamation Supervisor Lance Moody oversees projects at Four Corners and Wingate Mines. On a gray, dry February day, when the landscape appears a blending of brown, walk the property with Moody and suddenly you see much more. What you're looking at behind us here is a herbaceous marsh with a forested fringe around it. Signs of spring signal a healthy system waiting for summer rains to transform this into a carpet of green. Uh, in the backdrop here you see the South Fork of the Little Manatee River, uh, turkeys, um, snakes, alligators, uh, frogs. This site is a couple of years old. And each area is different so each wetland's different. You may have deeper marsh wetlands, you may have forested wetlands that don't hold a lot of water, you may have what we call a wet prairie right. that stays inundated for just a short time and then the rest of the year it's, it's kind of dry but the soils are, the wetland soils are there. Around the corner sits a 500 acre reclamation site. It's actually 517 acres in size to be exact. So popular with birders and others, the company built an observation deck. Uh, it's got three lakes inside of it. Which is a massive reclamation undertaking, correct? Absolutely. It's, uh, well, it's, it's, it's normal for us. It's a big herbaceous wetland. It's surrounded by a 150-acre scrubby and sandy site, home to hundreds of gopher tortoises. You've got your mixed hardwood forest, which we do a, a lot of. Moody We've does a lot of habitat blending. He says he often needs his uplands to feed his wetlands. Each area serves a critical purpose. These, these oak trees just to our left here are the same age as the trees to the right. The Reclamation takes patience. Ground cover may stand taller than trees, but not for long. It's like a kid hitting puberty. You'll get a tree that sprouts overnight, and, and all of a sudden it's putting on a foot or two a year. Moody has already started making plans for Wingate. What we're going to be doing at Wingate um, is a lot what we've done here in, Man in Four Corners. Um, there's a lot of new technology we'll be able to use um, with, with GPS, GIS. Um, we have learned a lot of new techniques on what makes the vegetation grow quicker. His to-do list includes lakes and marshes. Yeah, I'm excited about Wingate. Moody's ready to give new life to old land. Once it's yielded the phosphate needed to grow the food he and millions more count on each day at their dinner table. Any developer can go out and put a half acre of wetland in because that's how much he needed to mitigate for on his housing development. I build a thousand acres a year. He thinks about his job as he drives past Bunker Hill Park and the Duet Fire Station, both on reclaimed land. This could either be a Walmart parking lot surrounded by housing, or it could be wetlands that support habitat. If it sounds personal, that's because it is. Yeah, I know the people here in the community um, and the people that's been here a long time. They appreciate what the they understand what the mines give them back. Moody understands because he played in the pastures where wetlands now thrive. He is an eighth generation Floridian with deep roots in Duet. So when you see these projects take shape, grow up, mature, how does that make you feel? Well, I take a lot of pride in it naturally. It's more than Mosaic's legacy. It's also about what Lance Moody can leave for his children.